I've started my paddle at the Little City Dock where there was plenty of free parking and no fee. There was a clean portage on available at the launch. A rolling dock makes it easy for paddlers and they also have a concrete slab for the larger boats. You'll start in a beautiful garden-like area. Small marsh islands surround the access point with easy paddles through light lily pads, taking you to the rest of the river. At the launch, the water is calm and lake-like because of Lowell's Dam. About half a mile up the river, it becomes a rushing smash of shallows for the next four miles up to Burroughs Dam. The dam lets out a ton of water and it was a little tough to paddle up to. A few islands make three passages. Two were blocked and the third was so fast I had to get out and walk in a little bit. The water after the islands was so fast and deep that I had to paddle up to the portage point, which was well marked. The portage by the bottom of the dam is slick and rocky, and that is the last difficult moment I experienced on the river. Above the dam, the water becomes lake-like, uh, almost all the way to Fallsburg Covered Bridge. It took me about five hours to reach the covered bridge and about an hour and a half to return. All right. It's 7.44 a.m. I've just loaded up my boat and I'm taking it over to Lowell, Michigan to get to where the Flat River meets the Grand River. Uh, the Flat River is one of the tributaries of the Grand and I will hopefully be paddling up to see some, at least one covered bridge, possibly two, depending on my energy level. All right, let's go. All right, I'm trying something a little bit different today. Uh, I have my GoPro mounted on the front of my boat, and hopefully we'll get some more interesting shots than just the chess game. I'm in Lowell, Michigan today, putting in at the City Boat Dock. It's a fantastic, easy place to put in. There's free parking. There's a Porta John style bathroom available. There's a roll-in dock and a regular concrete dock for bigger boats. About six miles up the river, I'm hoping to see a covered bridge. I'll be portaging one dam. If I have enough energy today, I will be making it to a second uh, covered bridge that's about 12 to 13 miles up, but I, I'm not sure I'm going to make it. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's get paddling. In totally unexpected news. This morning I remembered to turn the GPS on before I actually started paddling, which is good. Some friends of mine gave me a portable battery, a phone recharging battery so that I can keep my GPS going on my old iPhone 6S with its original battery. We'll see, we'll see. I do like having the info though. Having the info is fun. Like a good passage to the, to the deep side over here. So starting out, uh, we're fairly residential. I whoa, just go. <clears throat> I got the idea for this paddle from a book called uh, Canoeing in Michigan, and I will post the correct title and the author in some pop-up text. Man, I love having a video editor now. Hit film, we're the win. The free version gives me everything I want. Battling for some lily pads. All right, and now the river opens up. And Google Maps says that uh, river uh, right over here. I'm going to be paddling upstream for the beginning, so my left and right are going to be mixed up. Uh, river right, which is my left, uh, is going to be the primary channel for the beginning. It looks like it snakes through a lot from the Google Maps, but yeah, I am very excited. Let's get to that dam. Six miles. Alright, I'm going to shut off recording for now. Really enjoying having the camera mounted instead of around my chest. It's a little bit less constricting. I also have my regular camera today. 
uh, the regular camera fell into Lake Superior when I was up there and has been working, has been working, it's been working. Not as well as it used to, but it has been working. So I am happy about that. We're gonna use it until we use it up. All right, I'm less than a mile up now. It's still very uh, residential and there's a giant sort of industrial or some sort of building up here. Looks like probably a storage area. Trucking, shipping area. Uh, <clears throat> when I pulled into town, there were some huge uh, grain silos and a sign for trucks for the mill to all go a certain way. So I'm guessing that this town does a lot of milling. A lot of grain comes through here. People playing settlers to build around Lowell. So they have to activate those knights. Coming up on an island now. Looks like there's plenty of room to paddle on either the left or the right. Easy, easy paddle. The river is very deep here. The I'm still down by the Lowell Dam, so the current, there's not too much to speak of, it's all sort of dammed up, uh, but it makes it easy to paddle right here. I'm hoping to see some more current, probably in a couple miles, maybe two miles. For now it's like paddling in a lake. Smells fantastic. Ooh, the river is shallow here and clear. I can see the bottom. It's a rocky, sandy bottom. I do see a few shells. I wouldn't go barefoot in it completely. I wouldn't go barefoot in most rivers. I'm just gonna say that. I like bringing my shoes along. You never know when you're gonna get a shell or a tin can that is rusted. You don't know when one of the old ones is going to reach up and just grab your foot. Alright, little branch here, but easy to turn. Yeah, again, the current here is, it's just starting to, I'm being able to notice it now. But it is looking like, ooh. Looks like a shallow between the islands. I think I can make it. Too shallow, too shallow. Alright. <clears throat> Whoa. It's alright. Can't go through them all. Nope. Bottoming out again. Okay. Would have been fun. in the water there. I can round it.
All right, really nice sets of islands. And they're all over the place here to start. Uh, I saw on Google Maps, it looks like they continue for most of the battle. The river is fairly swift here. I'm seeing a small rocky area straight up ahead. I'm hoping I can pass it without getting out of the boat, but we'll see. This is a small drop. Not making much forward progress. <laughs> so, it looks like it may be the first covered bridge only. We'll see how it gets beyond the, uh, beyond the dam coming up. All right, hopefully get us some of these rapids. See how it goes from there. Rapids. The small swift. Inching forward, paddling like crazy. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of rocks on river right. Trademark, Jake on a lake. Super hard paddling. That's what you do when you want to get up stuff. Shallow. A good spot to get back in. Yeah, much better. Current. If it's all like this, I am not going to make 12 miles up. Inching forward. I'm about uh, two loo and. Uh, a little over two miles up the river now. The current is really strong. It's fairly shallow. Uh, I'm, I have one more big bend to get to before the first dam. And after the first dam, uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the current will subside a little bit. I'm really hoping that uh, I get a little bit of a break. I am twisting like crazy and sweating like crazy. I'm just taking a quick break now. Uh, just to let my back have a rest, and we'll continue on in just a moment. Look shallow again. Yeah. We'll make it. We'll make it. Well, this will be fun to come back down. Uh. Condition update. I just got behind beyond a couple small islands and the river has slowed dramatically or the current has slowed dramatically it's a lot deeper here it's a lot wider and i'm taking a moment to just get my strength back but uh, i think we're gonna have a little bit better time paddling up the river here yeah that last bit was a bit of a grind This pedal back is going to be a blast. This is why I want to get like 10 miles up today. <laughs> I just want to go 10 miles down it. Ugh. Worth it! Going to watch my niece and nephew tomorrow. And I don't know which activity is going to be more strenuous. Is it worth going shallow for a tree tunnel? Mm, yes. slow going and reach some more shallows again hoping for a break from the current after the dam we'll see I'm trying to resist the urge to check the gps to see how far away the dam is 
every time I get my phone out, I feel like I watch the battery die just a little bit more. Yeah, so shallow. Alright, let's try to the right. an overwhelming urge to dig in and get some speed going up this river but there's there's no spot to dig in I am guessing about seven or eight inches of clearance here I'm just half paddling the whole way Under this bridge for me. Very fast. I want to get back over to the right. Yeah, there's another big drop right before this bridge. Looks like I can paddle up it over here. So friggin' shallow. Okay, I'm beyond it. Holy cow. Alright, I'm gonna get up here and take a little break. Oh, I look like I have another one coming up. <laughs> Alright. Choice, I'm easily paddling for 23.7 seconds. An island or a peninsula. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna hit it hard from river right. Just paddle straight through. Right up there. Alright, see if I can get some speed coming. Not bad. One more up there. I'm gonna rest after this little island. Okay. I'm gonna take river left for the island. mildly more sedate. This is some decent paddling. It's not too terrible. Not bad at all. I love making plans. Oh, I'm gonna see both covered bridges. Then getting in the river, it's like, I will see one covered bridge. <laughs> I'm not going home first. 
yeah, it's just a little bit rough when you see yourself making such slow progress up the river. set of islands. I think I could make it around on my right, but I'm going to go over to the left where I can definitely see more river. This is going to be an arduous pedal up. I'm looking for any, any deeper current that I can get. deep enough over here. I just stopped pedaling for a moment and I'm pretty sure I could hear the dam. I feel like I hear falling water. Ah! Now I can see the dam. Ooh, that is way high. Alright. Let's turn and get a good view of this. Alright. I have been looking forward to this. Hopefully after the dam, the current will be a little bit easier on me. And I am going to get out and eat some lunch here. It's about 11.30. This river is going to be so much fun to paddle back. Like, I think it's just going to be mostly steering. <laughs> Alright. Google Maps made it look like the exit was on river right. We'll see when we get up there. It looks pretty steep on river left. I thought I saw a path on Google Maps, so. This might be completely blocked on the other side. This looks blocked as well. And, uh, I'm going to go see what's on the other side because I do not want to try to get up by that. Still not seeing the path, but I'm still a ways off. Shallow by the hands. Alright, this is fast, but it looks doable. Let's give it a try. At least it's deep enough. Alright. Sit for the shore. Thank you. 
like a huge drop. Right there. Paddling up a hill. Pushing me back. Okay. So fast. Okay, I'm gonna get to a spot where I can calmly put my shoes on. Hopefully, we're gonna try one of those more sedate paths up the river. This is too much. This was a mistake. all sorts of signs up there with a dam like this with a current like that i'm gonna pay attention to whatever they say well probably yeah huge waves deep water I'm not about to mess around here uh, i think this sign says portage Canoe portage! I got to the right spot. All right, not the easiest place to get out, but hey, oh no, it's pretty shallow right here. No, this is good. I am basically grounded. All right, I am happy. Let's get out. Whoa. All right, getting up a little further. <laughs> All right, arduous. I like it. A white sign down at the bottom of the dam shows with the canoe portage. You follow it up with this trail over this hill to about where my kayak is. Just on the other side of the dam, as I swing around here, you'll be able to see the buoys. And it's, it's a lake. Uh, there's no current to fight with. It's deep. There's nothing to fight with. And this little bit of heaven, after that long, long paddle up, makes me want to go to the second, uh, <laughs> to the second covered bridge. If, if there were no current between here and the second covered bridge, I'd definitely be up to the second covered bridge. It's only 12 miles up. But I anticipate having a lot more current here in a little bit after this lake-ish area ends. It will end before the covered bridge, and so we'll see what the current is like there before making any commitments. Because yeah, I have not yet broken into my fudge, but... I will do that at the bridge as a little treat, and if the current is high, just sit back and relax. This is nice. Above the dam, the river is huge and flat. I was able to enjoy some fast, easy miles being pushed along by the wind. Later, the sun decided to come out and stayed out for the rest of the trip. When I eventually made it to the more river lake conditions, the current was manageable and the water was deep. I was tempted to keep paddling to the second covered bridge, but my lack of drinking water and eating chocolate limited my journey. 
Directly after the Fallsburg Covered Bridge is a public park with an easy place to put in or take out. I'm leaving the covered bridge now. There's a family of geese ahead of me. I'm looking forward to the switch current back. Uh, right up when I got to the bridge, the current was starting to pick up, so I know I'm going to get a little boost. Just a cool chicken under a tree. rest time. Got about uh, maybe a mile, maybe a little bit less. And it's just going to be a little bit of paddling into the wind. How are you? You look like a man on a fishing right now. Hey, <laughs> I'm on my way back. I went to the covered bridge, so oh, yeah? yeah, it's nice though. The whole way is nice. The nice thing about having so much wind is that it's blowing all the sweat off. <laughs> this is just a natural shoot. I have gone to by the island, coming around, getting around a branch, heading up right to the corner. The corner was where I dropped in, and it seems to be the best gradient. And instead of all rocks, it's a little bit of dirt. So we take what we get. so shady here and I know the rest of the river is going to be fairly shady I'm pretty happy shady and fast all right the time right now is 2 59 so we're going to call it three o'clock I am going to see how fast I can pedal back to my starting point I want to try to do it in under an hour hour or less oh we got it fisherman that I'll leave the blur out, but that's okay, I'm just going to take this fish. It doesn't matter to me. going yeah 
Yeah, from the boat dock. Oh, okay. The, what is it? Lowell. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Got to the covered bridge up there. So yeah, it's a lot easier up there. <laughs> watch out for on the way back is these uh, rocks in the river. Watch for my shallows, watch for the rocks. Yeah, wind is blowing, but that's okay. The current is good. Rock in the way. Oop, boom. rocks though.
fish jumping. Just beautiful blue sky. Dragonflies all around. The river is exciting. There are rocks everywhere I must watch out. Just an absolutely beautiful paddle. Might just sit back and float for a bit. Uh, so many, so many rocks. I don't dare, dare relax too much. My five mile per hour super goal. A little bit hurt by that rest stop, but you need to rest sometimes. And it's if you don't rest and you end up not enjoying something, then, well, who do you have to blame? Ooh. That's why you don't do that. Didn't notice that log until fairly late. Hit it side on hard. Alright, back to that bridge with the uh, cool supports. was it? <laughs> oh, I know there's some rocks. I know it's some shallow. I think I need to come up this way. And then down into it. Yeah, this is the way. Fish jump. Juicy downriver footage. Uh, hello again, sir. This whole video might just be downriver footage. River right. I paddled here often, I would know that it's outside this line of rocks. of a line. I thought somebody made this just for that reason. Huh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Thank <laughs> you. 
between these two. Yep. Ah, okay. It's like small one. It's fun. Sometimes I get going too fast for my own good. Cut that out. me tapping the rock. Close the close.
I just reefed on my mount and apparently what I should be doing is something much nicer in order to change it. I need to unscrew it instead of just yanking on it as I was doing because it was working. I broke it. Alright, grapes are gone. Water is down to the last sip which I'm going to take right now. I think that on my way home, I'm going to get some McDonald's, a McDouble with extra pickles, and something large to drink. I think maybe an iced tea. I like their iced tea, alright. Not the sweet one. The sweet one is a little too much. But, some iced tea right about now. There's so much ice. The flat river from the Lowell Dam boat launch to the Fallsburg Bridge was a beautiful trip. If you like a natural area where it's easy to put in, I highly recommend it. Going upriver, I only saw one person and they were fly fishing, which for me adds to the experience. The bridge was a great stop. A public park on the other side made it easy to get out and rest and they've kept up the area beautifully. I really loved the fast water on this trip. It was difficult to get through on the way up, but paddling back on the rush of water below the dam made it all worth it. It got me thinking about a two-day, all-down-river paddle from Greenville to Lowell. There's the second covered bridge and plenty of fresh natural area to see. The campground in the middle makes it pretty easy. If you got this far, thanks for watching. Now, watch as I go off to the bathroom, come back, start.